We're still talking what's going on yeah, in the country. Absolutely. We still have problems we to still highlight. Have we still have community <laughs> issues. We still have children who mm. cannot go to school in a proper structure. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. yeah. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Yeah. In the Bunu um, you know, area, the um, Sunyane West, we have, you know, a report uh, for mm. you uh, by our colleague Michael Infum. And um, educational challenges, infrastructure, you know, weaknesses, it's a problem. And, uh, you know, for us, we will always throw a, shine a torch yeah. and throw light on all the issues everywhere until they, we start getting some good solutions to all of this. Let's take a look at this report. We'll come back and we'll get into the conversation. The Men's Akum SDA Business School, located in the Kotokum Letra area, of the Sunyani East Municipality was established in 1979. The school started with primary and later the junior high school was added. The school serves communities including Abrochri, John Sinkrum, Okokrum, Donkokrum and Kuntu. The school has adequate classroom for the primary session. However, the junior high school session is struggling with decent classrooms to enhance teaching and learning. This shed put up by the community is what is used as classrooms for DHS 1 to 3. The structure, teachers and students say, is not conducive for teaching and learning. The Parents Teacher Association PTA of the school is unhappy with the state of the structure. And then the top of the so that's what a form one more. And I did be a high in case, best I say, I summoned with my boy, Nanko Abbey, Bogan be a my. A men's and crum, dear chess, Danny. In car, ye hear and moi, et is a ye head dying out, send ye dining sit here, more fray, jolly bar, and so toss a sensory at Bensa a better, sensory better. Mo fere jali ba ni omu ti demu kura ni nsu na to omu oho. Nti o hwe dan ya ye hiamwa. Ankura nkura biara obeti ma boa ye efa e dan we ho no. Nka ebe so ye demu. Nti ye sra aban ni ankura nkura biara se omu a school dan. Ye mo fere omu ntali hye nkura omu de ba. Ba bi omu te ni enye fe em fata. Nsu ye se aban de o hwe eh P1 to pieces there on the day how bia and shed the name sa now we get chess and no one yes sir and crumble be able to say oh my and to say more free or more brevo jhs dying yes so so yeah no idea pay a buy yes sir i buy some basic mama i buy to mamba yeah the epa bo and your kakra bo pata the amount corano and so corona so much to know say much idea in so to amount to me to know in so to you pay so much you know prime in the moon student of the school modesta kama has been speaking to city news on the situation please as you can see the classrooms are too dusty sometimes when the wind blows the dust enters our nose we can breathe well sometimes and it gives us kata and sometimes we, if there are teachers in all the classes we can concentrate on what we are doing in the class so we are pleading to the municipal assembly of sunyani to come and help us they should come and build us like they have done for the primary people, for, so they should do it like that to, to the JHS so that we can learn well and concentrate in class. We are pleading to them to help us. The chief of Men's Akrum, Nana Komodo Mati, has also added his voice to calls for the school to have a JHS classroom block. Uh, don't say, hey, people, former head teacher, the bearer must man, no a cop, was you. See, see, I'm not a support of four soon, a study, yes, yes, no. No, no, my see, but I'm so, no more. She say, I'm called, see, see, I'm on the phone, fear. Tea, she say, I pretty, so I'm not why, 
number sister, Jesus my Alright, so that's uh, a report by our colleague Michael Infum. Now he's on the line. Uh, Michael, good morning. Good morning, Papu. Hmm. How are you doing this morning? Oh, I'm doing very well. Fantastic. All right. So um, just sort of give us a, a sense of, I know this is Mensa Chrome JHS, um, but give us a sense of what, if this kind of structure that we are seeing here, you know, shows up in other parts of your region and how, how common it is. Uh, thank you very much, Paco. It is common, you know. Uh, the Mesa Group FDA and uh, Basic Crew was established in 1979. Okay. It started with the primary section and later on, as uh, the population grew, uh, the junior high school was also added. It is through the effort of the community. Mm. And we just have that chance to assist and help the students because the closest bar that they can attend junior high school is Yahima. Yeah. Roughly is about two kilometers from the community. Okay. And it is very difficult for students within this uh, community uh, to attend. And it also cares other communities like um, Abu Tray, uh, the Bafok Home, and other places. Uh, children from this farming communities come to Mesha uh, Home to uh, get education. So, uh, it's not only in Mesha Kroom, but the other uh, schools, the other communities within uh, the region that are also facing uh, this challenge. We can have, uh, we'll do for with Tetrawa uh, State uh, in the Bofoko and Lesha area, also in the Sinai West in the municipality. It's also a challenge. Mm. Kids have to walk close to seven kilometers to get education at uh, uh, Bofoko. So, person, the uh, infrastructure within the region is still a challenge, and then I think more needs to be done. Okay. Some of the structures that we saw, or, you know, in the report, look actually look like pig pig styes, you know, like goat pens. They don't look like a place where human beings should be housed. Um, so, who, yes, <laughs> it is very worrying. Yeah, um, because it's not. Uh, to the cells of the building, the thing is a pen, as you said. Mm. And this was put up uh, to the effort of the teams and the community members. And wow. within this area, the dust, the dust yeah. is unbearable yeah. for mm -hmm. the children. It's unbearable for the children, of course. Mm. I mean, honestly, I really don't know what it is that... Um, so have you spoken to any of the authorities at the education, education ministry, you know, the, your um, assembly people? What, what's, 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 what are their thoughts? What are people saying about this? What, what, what can we do? So for effort to get to the authorities is uh, very difficult, but I'm doing my best to. We uh, have with them to find a way uh, if something could be done immediately to help uh, they should, I believe even if it's a, a pavilion, it's put out for them yeah. from now, it will help. Because they're dust. It was so, uh, within this part of the country, the mm. Hamasan is severe. And the yeah. dust, I mean, this state uh, really suffering. Yeah. And I believe, uh, from here, I'll be pushing. Mm. Talk to authorities, the education, those are the general education service, and also I try to find out if I can also get the for the area. So yeah. that's something to be done to help these uh, children who are really get something. Hmm. All right. Thank you very much, Michael. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Michael. All right. Okay. So that's our colleague, Michael Infum of the Bono region. And um, it, it's a tough situation that we find ourselves in. Look, no. Kokui, Kokui, the students there are competing with students in Accra, mm -hmm. in Kumasi, in Kumasi, in, you know, and and even in, let's even say within the Bono region, yes. students in schools that are a bit yeah. better, and yeah. 
you, you know, there are, there are some children in this country for whom going to school is almost made to look like a punishment. Yeah. It's supposed to be a fundamental right mm. for them. Mm. Then they have to go and sit, at, you call it what? Like a pig style? A pig style. Or yeah. So imagine. No, but you see what Michael said. When I the, made yeah. comment, he said that when you are far away from it and you're walking, and you're towards, walking it, towards it, you would think it's a pig style. I mean, and you've got the hamatan dust. Now, these are kids, when they grow up and they're having severe respiratory issues, mm, mm. you wonder where it started from. Yeah. Probably from that. Imagine yeah. inhaling that kind of yeah. dust constantly, every yeah. day, with no yeah. shelter or shield from it. Yeah. When it rains, what happens? Can yeah. they even sit in that mm. structure during the wet season? Do you understand? Yeah. And to think that this was even something that the people in the community decided do, to come do, together yeah, and, and, do, and do this. Just so they would have a structure yeah. in which to study. Mm. And I, I ask, when people are campaigning, do they campaign in these areas? Do they yeah. go, you know, yeah. what, do they, what do they promise? What, what do they do after they win? I, I, hmm. I, I can't yeah. understand. It's unconscionable to think mm. that an elected official would see a place like, like this, this and not want to act yeah. immediately. Maybe yeah. there are resource challenges. I don't know. No, I mean, I'm sure thought, there are resource challenges. But, okay. I mean, the thing also is that at, what, at a certain point in time, we, we have to be able to stop using resource challenges as our reason, <sighs> as our excuse. Uh, as our excuse. Uh, for some of these things. There has to be a basic minimum, you know, um, that we will consider as humane, yeah. as a people. Do you see? There must be some structures that are unacceptable. This is just... You can't, you, can't, you can't have this. And he said this is not the only one. There are several mm. places that this, this kind of structure mm -hmm. is found. Other places that oh. you will find it. It's terrible. It's terrible. I mean, I know we need to improve access for kids but access has to be at least humane it yeah. has to be dignified mm. like children should not feel less than human yeah. going to get an education that is a right I, no, I, I mean just, think about it right maybe their homes they keep pigs and goats in something like this and then, then they're they going to school oh. and they go into the same type of setup no and that's supposed to be a classroom. But mind you, in this day of the internet and, you know, more exposure on TV, other programs and the rest, they see what other children benefit hmm. from. I'm even wondering, in a structure like that, what, what kind of, do you even have an outlet to plug anything in for the kids to see no, anything? Of course into, not. Do you understand? Yeah. How limiting it is for them. I mean, it's depressing watching some of these things, but... It, it also reminds us how important it is to highlight yeah. these things, just yeah. to remind the authorities because that again, this is happening. Because, again, you see, we can sit in, in our... Look, yes. People are watching us from, I don't know, Trasaco, All over the country. wherever it is you, you live. And you can't imagine that this yeah. is in Ghana. Yes, in the same in Ghana. In the same Ghana, the same that, you're Ghana in, that you're in. You know, and yeah. you, you take it for granted mm -hmm. that, okay, they say, you know, we are doing... Everybody must, and there's what, F cube, there's free SHS, there's this, there's that. We, we throw a bandy about these, you know, nice jargons. But what does it mean practically for the people who are actually there? Yeah, the what ground. are they experiencing on the ground? And for us, this is one of the things that you get to see. Mm -hmm. It's not all, you know, nice and rosy. Rough. Exactly. And, 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 and looking all beautiful and everything else. I think it's important for the education ministry to take this very seriously. The assemblies must take this seriously. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we can't afford for... I, I think everybody should take pride in their jurisdiction mm -hmm. to the extent where they say, if... I am the MCE of this municipality. There mustn't be anything below a certain standard of classroom in this area. Unacceptable. It, it should not happen. Should not happen. You see. And then the education ministry also must also, you know, back up and say, listen, mm -hmm. how can our students be in, a, a be structure in like this? such places? We have a National Schools Inspectorate Authority that is supposed to go around the country inspecting educational facilities. So they've inspected this? That, that's my question. Wow. Kuku, that's my question. You've inspected this? Is, really? If this has been seen, wow. if they really have been on the ground mm. and this has been, you know, flagged or may, has it been yeah. flagged, then what are they doing about it? You know, what's the next step? Yeah. You know? So I think yeah. that that's one of the things that we, we say that, look, at. you go and you see this kind of thing. You pull it down immediately. You shut it down. Mm. You have to shut it down. If you don't shut it down, then what it means is that you're, you're, you're what's the word for it? You're, you're also 
involved in the perpetuation, mm. you know, of these kinds of poor practices. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, yep. let us know your thoughts on what we've shown so far today. Hashtag Breakfast Daily. And you can send us a WhatsApp message on 0550 585 